Hey everybody, Old School with you here, and I'm going to give you my personal opinion and review for the Star Wars Battlefront 2 single player campaign. Now, I thought it was actually a pretty good story, but I did see somebody else's review, and it's a guy I respect, a big time YouTuber, really trashed the crap out of his storyline, and his criticisms were legitimate, but I guess I had a lower bar of expectation. We start the campaign by playing as Iden Versio. She is one of the top-ranking commanders in Inferno Squad, a Special Forces Elite Troop for the Empire. Look at me. Okay guys, if you haven't figured it out already, there are going to be spoilers in this video, so if you think you might want to play this game and you haven't yet, you might want to watch this video at a later point in time. In the meantime, for the rest of you that are staying on, we're taking a look right here at the droid, the little backpack droid that snaps right there on the back of Aiden Verzio. And it can do anything from open locks to take out opponents, and it also gives you the opportunity to have a little backup when you need it. The special effects, it, they're right on spot, as they usually are. Sound effects are right on, and it is literally like being in a Star Wars movie. They've done a great job on that. What I really like is the fact that it took place, and it kind of overlaps and meshes perfectly with the ending of Return of the Jedi. This story begins the breach between Jedi and the new trilogy that we have out at this time. One of the criticisms he had about this story mode, and I didn't really feel it the same way he did, is the fact that you don't stay playing as a member of the Empire throughout the entire story. And while that's true, I guess it didn't bother me the way it did him, and I can see where it would. This was the first time ever they came out with a single player campaign, number one. And number two, it's the first time they came out with this single player campaign where you would be playing from the point of view of the Empire. And that's not entirely accurate. You do for a period of time. For me, it wasn't a problem. I actually enjoyed playing both sides of the battle. But I can understand where somebody was looking forward to the opportunity of playing start to finish as a member of the Empire and not getting that experience. What we do get is to play as our favorite heroes from the original trilogy, while at the same time being able to play as some of the new characters representing the Empire. One of the big knocks against this game by a lot of gamers will be the time it takes to play the campaign. And I'm not going to lie, it's a maximum of five hours if you really like to look around and find the little hidden items that you need to collect on your first playthrough. But for me personally, that's the right amount of time for a Star Wars storyline. It gives us a chance to meet some new characters that are really cool and really funny, get to explore all these worlds that we haven't had before in a campaign mode especially, to me, it was a real Star Wars experience from start to finish, and I can honestly say I'm very happy I had the chance to play the campaign and experience this cool story. The day 